Hello my fellow musicologists out there, Alex Tamuel is here. I was just thinking about the impact of greed in society. I looked into Eddie's, Eddie Vedder's song called Society from the soundtrack of the movie Into the Wild and the movie is directed by Sean Pan. It tells the story of Chris McCandless. He just left his lifestyle for a life in the wilderness. He tried to live off the land and he embarked on this journey a journey that led to solitude to looking for answers and uh, I thought about the story of Neil Peart the drummer from Rush actually probably the greatest drummer of all time and he wrote a book called The Ghost Rider and we have a bridge that links um, his lonely journey to Chris's journey as well they both have philosophies towards the experiences that they had. We're gonna start with the song itself. First thing I noticed was that Eddie Vedder didn't write the song. It was a guy named Jerry Hannon. He's a singer-songwriter from the Bay Area. What really matters here is the lyrical content of this song, Society. Chasing prosperity will put so much pressure and a heavy load in your life. And the song begins with the line that's a mystery to me why is western society and the world so greedy and so competitive why do we need to buy so much stuff why do we need to work so many hours so it is indeed a mystery to everybody but in this case the mystery lies in greed understanding why humans have agreed on greed just like the song says you know we have agreed on greed you have that juxtaposition but this is very poetic you know the effect that you have is very conspicuous but what does that mean well it means that you and I have agreed this greed is this constant chasing this constant battle with other people out there in order for us to find our place under the sun this leads us to the third line of the song you think you have to want so this is absolutely beautifully put this line means that you're reasoning and you've been indoctrinated you've been indoctrinated to believe that you need to want more you need more you need to buy stuff you have to really be the cog on the wheel and you just have to be part of this vicious circle of capitalism you need to consume you need to borrow money you need to owe money to the bank and you gotta pay interest and that will seep through uh, your philosophy today the story is about the link between Chris McCandless and Neil Peart. You know, it's the adventurous spirit, the nomadic life, the road less traveled. And before we go there, I'm, I'm actually going to analyze the third line of the song again. I think you have to want more than you need, right? Eddie Vedder sings that. And, um, well, when you, when you take more than you need, someone else is losing in the process because obviously you're taking from their share and that's exactly what happens in the stock market when you when you profit from the shares of someone else you know the money is just transferred you don't create money it simply changes hands and and it's the pet peeve that chris mccandless faces with with his family and with his life after college he didn't really want to conform to these standards these rules that will guarantee a secure life for your future there's a beautiful quote from the book into the wild uh, the book was written by john krakauer you should definitely look it up and i'm gonna read the quote here make a radical change in your lifestyle and begin to boldly do things which you may previously never have thought of doing or been too hesitant to attempt so many people live within unhappy circumstances and yet they will not take the initiative to change their situation because they're conditioned to a life of security conformity and conservation all of which may appear to give one 
peace of mind, but in reality, nothing is more damaging to the adventurous spirit within a man than a secure future. The very basic core of a man's living spirit is his passion for adventure. The joy of life comes from our encounters with new experiences, and hence there's no greater joy than to have an endlessly changing horizon for each day to have a new and different sun. If you want to get more out of life, you must lose your inclination to monotonous security, and you should adopt a helter-skelter lifestyle. Once you become accustomed to such a life, you will see its full meaning and its incredible beauty. Well, this quote is the perfect link to Neil Peart's situation. You know, he suffered family losses that were devastating, and he didn't feel like living anymore. In order for him to live, he needed motion. He needed to escape from society. He needed to go into exile. He recorded in his journals his progress, his setbacks, but he also found so much life in the mountains, the sea, the open road. The nomadic life, the motion, gave Neil a sense of purpose, and that's a great synonym for life. The same nomadic life that Chris McCandless obsessively went after. So they both begin their journeys with nothing. Chris with no society, no money. Neil without his most precious loved ones, barely making it, but finding meaning and purpose by staying on the move. These two stories are depicted in two beautiful songs, Society sung by and played by Eddie Vedder and Ghost Rider, music written by Getty Lee and Alex Lifeson and the beautiful, beautiful lyrics penned by the professor himself, Neil Peart, one of the greatest lyricists in rock. Neil wrote the line, a wandering hermit racing towards the light. So let's be wanderers. Let's have that nomadic life that both Chris and Neil went after in order for us to find answers. And Eddie Vedder sings, Society, you're a crazy breed. And the choice of words here is perfect. We're a breed, a stock of animals. We behave like sheep. Money and things, they become the shepherd. We're just the obedient beings that work round the clock for things that we just think that we need. But when we truly open our minds, we begin to suffer. And that's when Eddie Vedder sings, and when you think more than you want, your thoughts begin to bleed. You don't need all that stuff. Then comes the line, I hope you're not lonely without me. Well, that means that Chris McCandless has decided to live a nomadic life. He's not going to be part of that greedy narrative. And Neil Peart has faced pretty much the worst personal tragedy that one can withstand. He also needed to chase the open road and meet the wilderness. He, um, he had become a ghost. He needed to wander, to explore. The road was the healing. All he could do was keep moving. So both wanderers, you know, Chris and Neil, they begin to see life again through the road, through the beauty of the wilderness. And we find music in the midst of their narratives. So these two songs, Society and Ghost Rider, they remind us about the power of motion, the power of the healing road, when we're freed from preconceived notions of what security means, or, you know, we're just not bound to social harnesses. And then I ask you, what do you do to keep moving? What moves you? What is the soundtrack of your motion? And that's a wrap for today's video, my fellow musicologists. Remembering that what music is, is what music does to us. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a couple of days.